Just before we head into the video, I'd love to give a shout out to the sponsor of the channel, RL Exchange. Now, RL Exchange is the best way to buy any Rocket League items or credits on any platform and at the cheapest prices so that you can build your dream setup. Make sure to go and check out their website using the top link in the description and use code TXC to get yourself 3% off your order. In this series, I have 30 days to trade from nothing up to the Titanium White Dominus, and this is day 12. We've already made a ton of profit, but we still have a very long way to go, as the White Dominus is worth 50,000 credits. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are enjoying the series. Let's go for 100 likes on this episode, and let's get straight into the first trade of day 12. Okay, so we're going to be hopping into the first trade of the episode and the inventory has just passed 30,000 credits in value, which is insane. We're only on day 12, so we're making some really good progress. I do want to sell some items in this video as well and I'm going to be starting off with the mainframe, selling it on for the minimum value of 600 credits, just getting some more credits into the inventory. But I'm not going to lie, right now items are actually really hard to sell, so for the majority of this video, I'm going to be trying to sell items, but most likely just buying items into the inventory because they're just so hard to sell right now and especially because a lot of my inventory right now is hard to sell items such as uh, Forest Green, Jordan Dragons, Black OEM, Blackstern. Uh, they have a very low demand at the moment so they're even harder to sell than usual. I did just pick up an Orange Octane as well, 100 credits below the minimum value and for the most part the majority of the items that I'm going to be buying are going to be high demand items such as this White Zomba here. This just means that loads of people are looking for it and I should be able to sell it on pre pretty quickly compared to some other items because right now I'm trying to make a lot of progress very very quickly so I'm going to be avoiding buying more items into the inventory like black OEM because right now if I buy black OEM that'll just stick around and I won't be able to sell it whatsoever so going back to Octanes again paying 100 credits below the minimum value of the forest green Octane at the time sadly it did actually drop so I ended up only doing 50 credits below the minimum value and I don't think I'll be able to find the middle value either so I did take a little bit of an L there but I just want to quickly tell you how I'm selling my items I've mentioned this in a few other episodes as well but basically whenever I need to sell a ton of items and my inventory is quite big I'll start off by selling the easiest to sell items the items that have the highest demand so my Octane's Fennec standards uh, any painted Zombas those sort of items and slowly I'll move towards the harder to sell items after I've sold the other items so I'll move on to Black OEM Black Stern and uh, possibly the Forest Green Jawline Dragons as well but I just want to make sure that I'm clearing my inventory out as effectively as possible and I know I did just say that I wasn't going to buy any more Blackstern into the inventory but I was able to underpay by 300 credits so uh, I, it, it was a dub I'm not going to lie it was a dub and then five minutes later I saw this guy offering the minimum value for both of these on RL garage so it did turn out well I know that was a little bit hypocritical of me I'm not going to lie but I was able to make 300 credits profit in the span of like five minutes and also sell on my other Blackstern so that was very lucky I'm not going to lie and we are clearing out the inventory slowly. Again, as I mentioned, I'm going to be working with those easy to sell items. So uh, I'm most likely going to be selling the Octanes, then the Zombas, then uh, maybe after that I'll move on to the Black Markets. But I managed to also get rid of my Orange Octane for 300 credits. I believe that was the minimum value at the time. I have also said in past episodes that I will try and sell some of my items for their middle value. Just see if the demand is going up because right now the credit demand should be going down a little bit as Season 11. Uh, is not that new anymore so items should be a little bit easier to sell in the next few days or weeks hopefully that is the case because I really hope trading gets a little bit better right now I'm not gonna lie it's so easy to underpay for items as you can see I've got a ton of items in my inventory uh, at most times throughout a lot of episodes but it's very hard to sell those items on and I get very lucky here because I managed to actually sell the white tunic on pretty quickly I believe I underpaid around 550 credits for this initially and I sold it for the minimum value through RL Garage and I actually got a ton of offers for that item so I will definitely be buying some painted tunicas again in the future. Maybe I got lucky that the white one sold on really quickly, I'm not sure but I made a ton of profit with that item so I'll definitely buy that uh, again if I have the chance. I also managed to get rid of the Forest Green Octane and for the middle value we took a massive dub there as I said earlier um, I wanted to sell Octanes for the middle value and I've just managed to do that so hopefully I'll be 
able to do that with more Octanes in the future, but that's got me another 50 credits profit, which isn't a lot, but if I do that for every item, it will definitely add up. And I managed to sell on my Forest Green Jordan Dragon, so I'm so happy. We've had this for so long, I can't even remember when we bought it. But it's finally out of the inventory. I'm so happy we have loads of credits to work with now, and I've got to say, this is uh, a really good episode so far. I'm also buying another Painted Octane, again, 100 credits below the minimum value. I should be able to sell that on for 400 credits, but I'm not going to lie, right now, Octanes are kind of carrying the episode. They're getting me all of the clips because I can't sell my other items. Saffron 20XX is hard to sell. Carbonator well, just won't sell. White Halo as well, typically really hard to sell. Black OEM, oh my days, I cannot get rid of it for the life of me. I want it out of my inventory. It's not happening. I do manage to get rid of the pink Octane pretty much straight away, as I mentioned. Kind of carrying the episode there, but I managed to sell it on for the minimum value. I wasn't able to find the middle price, but I still got 100 credits profit, so I'll definitely take that. And I also managed to get rid of my white halo in this trade for 1.1k. I believe I actually paid around 700 or 750. I've actually done that loads of times throughout the series already. White halo has made me a ton of profit, but we're getting even more profit with it there. Inventory is looking the best it has done in a very long time. We still do have those black OEMs, which are annoying me. Hopefully, I do sell them on pretty soon, but I do buy four painted octanes for, I believe, roughly 100 credits below the minimum value. I did pay a little bit more just because uh, of the convenience of buying so many octanes in one trade, but I should be able to get roughly 100 credits profit each from those as well, and I'm also going to be buying a black standard. I love painted standards. I haven't actually bought one in this episode yet, but I do manage to buy the black standard for 1,950 here, 150 credits below the minimum value. I haven't really ever struggled to sell the black standard. It has a very high demand, so I should be able to sell that on again pretty quickly. And as you can see right now, for the most part, I am trading with those high demand items so that I can sell them on pretty quickly and get some easy and quick profit. I also buy a white fennec and burnt sienna fennec. I wasn't able to underpay by it anymore. I tried to underpay by it as much as possible. I ended up paying 1.6k for a white fennec and burnt sienna, but they actually add up to roughly, uh, I believe roughly 2,000 credits. So even if I sell them for the minimum value each, I'm getting roughly 400 credits profit as well. Managed to sell the black standard on very, very quickly for that minimum value, getting another 150 credits profit. I'm very happy with that. But going back to the black OEMs, I really want them to be out of my inventory soon because they are annoying me so much. They're not worth a ton. They're 1.1k each. I might have to quick sell them at this point, but I just can't get them sold. I do manage to buy a black Jordan Dragons for 1.7k, a massive underpay of 600 credits at the time. Unfortunately, it did go down in price pretty much as I bought it. A lot of items have done that recently, but I still underpaid by 500 credits uh, overall. So a very, very nice underpay. I'll definitely take that and I should be able to sell that on in the next episode. And hopefully the Black OEM should go with it. But anyway, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you have, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications as well. I'm giving away a white octane whenever we hit 26k. So make sure to subscribe and head over to the Discord server. That's where I do all of my giveaways. The link is in the description down below. But thank you so much for watching. Comment White Dominus if you made it this far. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.